What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Fantastic Duo Show. I'm here once again with my bud, my partner in crime, Mr. Steve Cardenas. What's up, Steve? Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks again for joining us. And uh, yeah, we're pretty... uh pretty excited you know the whole uh, 25 year anniversary uh, for power rangers has been like the buzz here for the past few days and uh, we're excited so we thought we'd capitalize on that and uh, i reached out for a favor <laughs> from uh, my sister from another mister <laughs> my good friend um uh my very good friend uh, if we can take this time to welcome her right now uh miss aisha miss uh, karen ashley uh, let's say hello to her Yes! Hey, yay. <laughs> they've, got like a tra- they've got a clap track going got, on in the background. We've got so. applauses going in the background. Yes. And this is a big special Hi, Karen. edition. Uh, hey, How are you? Hey, you look great, by the way. Thank you. So do you guys. I, <laughs> oh, Steve, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you I've, 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 got the, I've got the COVID glow growing, glowing right, going right know. now, you know. <laughs> Inside too much. I can't, can't get no sun. <laughs> we, I know. We're all, like, not tanned. We, like, yeah. have things that we need to do outside. but we Everybody can't gained, like, 10 pounds for sure. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm right, trying to keep all it. All workouts are not like, you know, when you go and you work out. And, like, I was going to Orange Theory. And, like, now uh, I, I, like, I don't even want to walk and, and now you're just eating orange. <laughs> Oranges, right? <laughs> you were doing orange theory. Now you're just doing oranges. <laughs> now I'm just eating oranges. Yeah. Just, That's I'm hilarious. Up like this for weights. <laughs> <laughs> Atta girl. So, yeah, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who's joining us right now in the chat room. Um, everyone's really excited to be on here once again. Like everybody's just... You know, this is th- that's their own community in there in the chat room. This is an amazing, safe space for everyone to come in. Just like the cons, I have a great time. And Ashley, you're getting a ton of love. Karen, <laughs> Karen, Karen, sorry. Karen, Karen, Ashley, sorry. Yeah. I'm calling you Ashley because I was you reading your name. Ashley. I had I'm your social distancing from Karen because I am not trying to be a Karen. I was, I was, moment. and this is why I wanted to bring Aisha, it up. Ashley, okay. she said Aisha. Aisha. <laughs> call her Aisha. We'll call, we'll call you, Ka- we'll call you Cash. For, you know, because for your, uh, <laughs> yes. for your Zoom, K yeah. Ashley, yeah, Cash. We yeah. love it. Cash, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I want to welcome you to the show for sure. Like we mentioned before, you know, we have a ton of stuff here uh, lined up. Um, but first off, man, how you how you been? How's everything um, been for you in California? Uh, what's new with you out there? You know, just kind of like bring us back into uh, uh, Karen's world. You know what? Life is good. You know, I can't complain. We're healthy. We're happy. You know, I mean, we're obviously in a weird, crazy time in this world. But mm-hmm. outside of that, I mean, everyone, my family's good. I'm good. And so I'm just, you know, happy to be here. I wish, I wish, I wish I was traveling, going to cons. I know, we have right? So much fun on the road, right? <laughs> yeah, we and really so do. Tough. It's tough being home. I've never been home this long and, and like I've never not left my house or not put on makeup or not, oh, you know, had anything. Like I have pajama pants on every day. So I mean <laughs> It's, it's yeah. pretty ridiculous, but yeah, I've, been, yeah, I've never been this home this much in like seven years. You know what I mean? I know. Like we've been touring like nonstop for like, like literally like the past like seven years. We're like all over the place all the time. Yeah. And next thing you know, some, the, uh, put the brakes I know. on. <laughs> it was like instant too. Like it wasn't like we had a month to prepare and thought, oh, it's going to close down. Like literally I was going to a show and they called me that Thursday night and said, don't get on the plane. The show is canceled. Wow. And then 10 other shows were canceled that weekend. So it was like, what? I'm home for three months. And now that three months has turned into four months. And Mm. we'll just, you know, we don't know when we'll all be able to be in a place together. Together. But I I miss it so much. Mm, Preach, Um, preach, preach. You know, it's funny because I remember someone asked me just the other day, they said, when did you start doing cons? And I was like, I think it was like 12 or 13 years ago. I remember Steve hit me up on on MySpace. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was wow. like, is this you, Karen? And I was like, yeah, oh, my God. Like, it was like our first time reconnecting since I'd left the show and he'd left the show. Right. And he yeah. said, I want you to, he goes, I'm going to call you. And he called me and said, I want you to come and do this Comic-Con with me and Jason Frank. You know, they, they want to see you. And I remember going do they even know who we are? Like at that point it had been like 10 years since we left the show right. and we've, we've never stopped doing con since. So yeah. I think, I think actually reason. one of the first ones that we did actually was, um, was, was, was the first power Morphicon. We were there together and that was the first time that I had seen you in a while. Yeah. It was, it was yeah, power Morphicon. That was 2007. Cra- yeah. So there you go. Steve mm-hmm. is wow. the reason that a lot of us have started doing cons just because he got in this world and then Jason got in the world and 
And then yeah. they, we all started pulling people in. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember like one of the other first cons that we did too was uh, the uh, Florida Supercon. Although back then it was called like the anime Supercon. And I remember it was this tiny little con and it was like me and you in, in, a, in a hotel lobby signing autographs and fans were coming by dressed up in like anime stuff. And then, yes. and then that show turned to be one of the biggest shows, Florida Supercon, which is like, you know, that, well, before COVID shut down, they have like 50, 60,000 people come yes. to that show every year. I mean, it was like, it's, it was cool. We were there for the birth. <laughs> yes, it's the beginning. And what's funny is that uh, Mikey, who runs Ranger Stop, he mm -hmm. basically said he met us there. That was the first time he met us. He was one of the vendors. And right. he was like a teenager. <laughs> So, so it's crazy. Like this little world of, uh, that we've created. It's like our, our family. Our yeah. Economy. Incredible. Wow. Uh, such great reminiscing. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up on a lot more reminiscing, actually, as a matter of fact. Um, maybe because uh, people have kind of heard the story about how I, how I got on the show. Our stories are very similar. And, and yeah. as, as most people in the industry will know, it doesn't happen like that for people. You know what I mean? The way that it happened for us. I mean, like, you know, we in the span of like four days or something, we were like, you know, from just kids living in Texas to all of a sudden being like on the number one kid show in the world, you know? So yeah. uh, our life's turned upside down, like lickety split. So totally. maybe you could like kind of talk to us about what you were doing a little bit before that. Um, and, uh, and, you know, sort of your background yeah. on that and then how you got in and then so on and so forth. Well, what's funny is that I had, I'd been in the industry. I, I was, but I was actually in a singing group called crush and yes, we were yes, signed I remember. records and so we had kind of been, I, I was signed when I was like 12 years old. So we were signed for like five, six years and kind of went through this whole thing. And I just remember I had my first audition when I was in Crush. And at that moment, I auditioned for Sister Act 2. And I just remember I was like, I want to be an actress. Like, mm -hmm. I want to be an actress. And so it was just one of those things that once I had literally graduated high school, the, 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 the mission was I was going to go to college but I was only going to go to, you know, North Texas University for one year and I was moving to L.A. Moving to L.A. And, but I was auditioning. I was like working as an extra. I, right. I so you already had all those aspirations and you were already yeah. in the goal in the mindset of, of going to to L.A. to make it happen anyway. Totally. That was the plan. And then a friend of mine called me like literally it was like two weeks after I graduated high school and said, you've got to audition for the show. There's an open call casting for this show called Power Rangers. And I, at the time, I was obviously, I was, I was trying to graduate. I had no clue what Power Rangers was. Right, I was the yeah. only person who didn't know. And we went to the same audition, me, you, and Johnny all auditioned in Dallas. And I just remember walking up and there was this line of people. And oh like, man, there were thousands of people there, yeah. Thousands of people there. And we had to wait like all day just to get 30 seconds. And I remember just auditioning. But what's funny is I remember we had to like, we did an audition and then they said, okay, come back later and we'll tape you. So that thousand turned into like a hundred. Well, yeah, and yeah, I remember yeah. seeing you and Johnny there just, right. but it was still like a hundred people and you didn't know. And we got, we auditioned and yeah. Literally, and it was very much like a, don't call us, we'll call you kind of thing. Well, I guess that's it. You know, I'm not going to hear from <laughs> you guys ever again. <laughs> you had 30 seconds to like yeah. impress me, impress yeah. me right now. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And I remember I had like an audition, like I had music and they were like, we don't have a radio. And so I just had to dance. I just had to go for it. Wow. Um, that's but crazy. literally like three days later, they called us early in the morning and said, you know, hey, can you fly out to L.A.? And I remember just getting to the airport and you, Johnny, and a couple of other people who had met in Dallas, like they had flown in from other places. Mm -hmm. We all just got on the plane and. It was weird because we all became friends. We were all, uh, you know, auditioning. Yeah, the audition. other people that auditioned, I remember. Yeah, we were all chummy with them because we were all kind of, <laughs> we were all on the plane together. Then we, then we were all kind of like mingled together in the audition. And then we were like stuck in that same little motel together. And so. <laughs> that is still up in Burbank. Like every time I pass that place, they've, re they've changed it. But it oh, was like a hole in the wall motel. Oh my God, it was awful. I was like, wow, was Power awful. Rangers is really, they're really pulling out the big bucks for us, aren't they? <laughs> with this <laughs> Like, I remember thinking, like, are we auditioning for a TV show or are they pranking us? Yeah, we right. Cause it was. It was dank, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was across the street from Saban. We walked over there. Yeah. And I just remember we auditioned and then they put us together as a group. Mm -hmm. And they actually put me, Johnny, and Steve together as a group. And I just remember 
we went in together, but you, right before we walked in, you were like, okay, guys, like if you, if you've ever met Steve, Steve, we'll give you a quick pep talk. He's a pep <laughs> <top> guy. <laughs> he was like, okay, guys, this is our part to lose. And I just was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I remember because I was familiar with the show and I knew, yes. I knew that, 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 that when, and when you morphed, you had to put your hand behind your back. So I said, yes, Listen, I think you told when we me do that. those guys, make sure when we say it's morphing time, everybody put your hand behind your back at the same time. And we were we, the only ones that did yes. that because the other yes. people didn't know anything about the show and they just said it's yes. morphing time. And I think that's probably one of the things that they like. So we, we kind of had like a little leg up on um, people for that. Yes. Yeah. I, I remember having a conversation with Shooky like later, like he would come on set and have lunch with us. And I remember asking him, what was it about us? And he goes, you guys just like, when you walked in, we knew, we knew those are the three. Wow. We knew you That's guys, so cool. I didn't goes, even know that. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, you walked in and you just smiled and he goes, and that's what we needed. We needed someone to just light up the room. And then the guys were like flipping around. And I remember they were like flipping through the air. Yeah. And I well, I, re I remember I saw your audition, by the way, guys, but for those of you who don't know, Karen, is an unbelievable dancer, like phenomenal. Like I was blown away when I saw her dance routine because remember the three of us got to audition in front of each yes. other. Like we, yeah. no, we, we didn't see anybody else's routines, but when we had us audition. audition again, I saw yeah. Johnny do his thing, man. And I was like, wow, this guy's really good. And then Karen right. got out and did her thing. And I was like, I'm like, I'm beyond impressed. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, so, I think uh, it, it was the moment. And I think when they did that, it really like, I mean, we were hyped up and it was, it was the moment, it was the right time at the right place. And, yeah. And I remember they did And we were all young too. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I'm nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I remember they played around with the groups a little bit and kind of mixed us all up with other people, but the energy wasn't what we had when we walked in that room. And so yes. I just remember they put us all in a room, but all of us, like 15 of us, and then they were like, you, 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 you got the part. And we were just like, oh, Oh we my God. We were like crying. hugging each other and crying and stuff. Yeah. We it was crying. very. And then we were like, hold up, somebody else is crying. It was like one of the other people that didn't get the part. Like they oh. just in front of them. It was bananas. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, it was crazy. I just want to tell you guys that I, I don't want to talk at all. I just want to sit <laughs> back. Just listening to everything. I, right, I, now. I, I, right, right now. So, right now, I have, um, I have us all three on the bottom of the page, and I have a picture of you guys um, with the old cast and obviously you three coming into the show together. Um, my question to you, and I didn't want to interrupt your story. That's why I kind no, of held okay. back and no, I didn't say anything. No, please. We'll my, talk my, forever. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's what this is about. Um, my question <laughs> to you um, is how did it feel, right, and coming into the show? Right. Uh, and we've heard Steve's take before. Um, yeah. You know, uh, the, the dynamic was broken up because three had left. You guys are coming in. So how was it for you uh, coming into the show? Any intimidation? This this show's ginormous now. And, you know, now you got to mingle with three people that have been there since the original start. Yeah. How, how was that for you? You know what? I'm very thankful that I didn't know much about the show because I think that would have intimidated me knowing right. how popular yeah. those people Yeah, good point, were. good point. Yeah, and like, I mean, I think even though you watched it, and I know jo Steve, I mean, uh, Johnny had watched it, but we weren't like, you know, we weren't that demographic that watched Power Rangers like every single day. And so I think luckily for us, we weren't because I would have been completely intimidated by the fact that we were replacing people. We thought we were joining the team and that they were just going to bring in new characters. Yep. And we mm -hmm. get there and like they're gone and they're like stunt doubles and they're like shooting the back of their heads and we're like completely thrown in the mix of this. Um, but I think what happened with us is that I know I was so excited to be on a television show. Like that was the goal. I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to move to LA. All those things happened in a matter of four days. And so that excitement took over for me. But it was, I mean, it was just crazy. Like when we really stepped, I think when we went and we went to go do the movie, it really started coming to me like, man, this thing is huge. Yeah. It's bigger than we even know. And here we are. How did we get here? Like we won the golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> we really did. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, I, sometimes I often wonder like if, you know, and again, this is, I mean, it, it, the outcome might have been the same. Who knows? But, you know, had 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 they not been pressed for time and had, you know, the mo the, the, the longer audition process that that, you know, that they that they ha um, usually go through, you know, in order to cast new people, 
um, you know, maybe we might not have gotten that the same kind of opportunity, you know? I mean, it was just lucky that Katie Wallen, who was the main casting director, happened to be in Dallas, and she sent all of her other her other lackeys to the other places, yeah. and they didn't seem to pick the right people, you know? And Katie and knew exactly what that. Haim Saban was looking for and found and found us. And I think, you know, yeah. that was also like something that was in our favor. There was just a lot of things that were kind of faded for us, you know? And I, yeah. thought, I mean, I'm and just... I really just believe, like, I'm telling you, if I could, if I could just describe that energy that we had when we went in that room and like Steve said, we were like, it's morphin time. And we, yeah. like, we just did all these things in the moment that just, I can't imagine. Like, I just felt like we were, this was, this is what we were supposed to be doing. Yeah. And, it just and, and and luckily for us, the the the, the cast members that had right. stayed were, were super welcoming. I think that at that point they had gone through so much together, yeah. And so the change was welcome, you know. And and Polly was like our onset like acting. Yeah, coach. he was my he was he was like he was like my acting coach. Like he helped me a lot. Yeah. I mean, you were already an actress, so it's not like he needed to do much with yeah, you. You know what I mean? Know. Yeah. <laughs> But like, yeah. there were just so many things we didn't know. Like, none of us had been on a, a television set before in that way. Like, I mean, I'd been on one, but it wasn't like I was a series regular. Right. So, I mean, there are things that you had to do, things you had to, you know, be on time for. And just, I mean, we just didn't know how that show worked. And Polly was really essential in yeah. helping us make a smooth transition. It, um, but yeah, we were it really lucky. was on the job training, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Like, we got the job, and then that Monday we were shooting. Like, it was That's... like. That's Tell your parents crazy. that extra clothes. We're gonna ship your cars out. You're, you're working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We never even left after that. It was it was insane. Never left. Yeah. Yeah, but, and that's, I mean, but what a fantastic story, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. actually, this is something that I didn't even realize about you, Karen. I didn't realize that you had art. I mean, I knew that you were in a music group and all that stuff like that. And then you were on your way to doing some music stuff. But I had no idea that you wanted to do all of the film and TV stuff, too, and that you were had yeah. a plan to go there. See, like, even I didn't know that. And I don't yeah, know how I yeah. missed that. But I that's just, phenomenal. What a great story. Early. Yeah, yeah, I was so like, I, I honestly, my plan was to move that next year. And I just remember calling my mom because she was, my mom and dad were the only two people that I told other than like my sisters or whatever, mm -hmm. um, that I'd got the part. And I just was like, like, I told them, I was like, mom, they want, they, I'm, I'm moving here. Like, this is it. And she was like, what? Like, you know, <laughs> I thought we were moving next year. Like, uh -huh. it was just one of those and it was instant and I was homesick and it was crazy. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but it was like my, my biggest dream. So Man. I was, I was living the dream. That's it was amazing. quite the adventure, you know, and, I, and you didn't tell anybody and they told us we're not allowed to tell anybody because, you know, we mm. weren't going to be aired for months. So, you know, but you know me, I'm like, I'm calling all my people. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you ain't never going to believe what happened to me. I go, I got on Power Rangers and they go, what is that? Because all my friends, you know, they're older and all they cared about was drinking, drinking beer and meeting girls and stuff. And they're like, what's Power Rangers? And I, I was like trying to have to explain it to them. And they were like, they were like OK, good for you. What's that? <laughs> I know it's. it's it's bananas. <laughs> we're getting a lot. Of, we're getting a lot of great praise for you, uh, Karen. Here on the chat room, uh, Mike Room just joined us as well, and uh, he said that you have the best what? shirts uh at Aww. the cons when whenever he whenever you're there did you um, say mike mike rome is on yeah right mr now? Mike oh. rome. Yeah. No, okay cool yeah so maybe we could briefly talk about that since hey mike how are you brother um so um next week um we will actually have mike rome on the podcast yay um, uh, as well and uh you know uh mike rome is from the wwe fame uh does all like the ring announcing stuff for for all the uh the the Monday Monday Night 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 Raw. Raw shows yep. mm -hmm. and uh so we're very excited to have him on the show um and i guess briefly we'll just take a detour since we found out mike's on the show um we're gonna have like a wwe themed week next week so next week we've got all Hi. kinds of awesome guests gonna be on and mike rome is one of them we'll see him on thursday but mike rome is also doing um a uh, phenomenal thing. He's hosting this um, charity event. This charity event that we're gonna do, and all the Power Rangers are gonna be there. Probably like twenty of us or twenty-one of us, right, Karen? It, There's yeah, gonna it's be crazy. a bunch of us. We're gonna all get on a, 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 a thing, and we're gonna chat all about Power Rangers and stuff, and all the generations of Power Rangers. And we're doing it all for a charity called Give Kids the World, um, yeah. Give Kids the World Village. Um, 
And uh, so um, we've been posting up about it on our Instagram. I don't. So if you have following us on Instagram, make sure you check that out so you know where to go um, to the event to donate as well. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's an amazing place. Like we yeah. went there a couple years ago. I think. Yeah, we- I remember when we went there. Yeah. And it's it's strictly for terminally ill kids, and it's like Wonderland. Like they have Halloween. Like they basically go there for a week. But yeah. During wow. that week. They, they get, get all they, they get, get everything there. They get to experience all the seasons. Yes. They got they got all kinds of cool stuff there and rides and and mm-hmm. games and they got ice cream cone machines like just psh, go and get the ice cream you want. You know what I mean? Like That's, they have everything there. Yeah. Free. It's yeah, and it's all free. free. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Families. So, so uh, yeah, like, uh, um, we partook it, too. It was free for us as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us ice cream as well. We, we had Holla. Ice cream. Yeah. That was that's great. I, that's I remember great. that's the thing that sticks out for me the most when I went there. I mean, of course, you know, seeing the kids and everything like yes, that was beautiful, yes. beautiful, you know what I mean? But in a joking way, this, I, the one thing I remember was the free ice cream. <laughs> yes, it was good too. It was really good. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. But this place, like, obviously they, they're suffering from the effects of COVID and they've had to oh, leave yeah. people off. Yeah. And- um, so we were more than happy. Yeah, I mean, we really want to help try to keep this place open, guys. So yeah. um, please come join us on the on that podcast. It's going to be on uh, um, July 11th. Yeah, right, right, Alex. Yeah. July 11th. Yeah, July 11th. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's going to so, be amazing. Uh, so if you guys if you guys follow uh, Steve, if you follow Karen, if you follow uh, our Fantastic Duo Show account here, um, you'll be getting a, a reminder as the week progresses, even through the holiday, that you know it is going to be um it's gonna go down so uh so yeah I'm, I'm really excited for this and you guys are doing an incredible thing and and again i'm just a fan sitting here on the sidelines listening to you guys talk and this is just an amazing thing that's happening right now in front of me so you know anybody that's watching here in the chat make sure you go and um you know whatever you can uh, it, it's a rough time but uh even just sharing it helps um those kids out um so yeah so i'm super i'm super stoked for you guys so yeah so um next week's gonna be incredible watch watch for the uh all the promotional work we're gonna be putting out for that um karen i wanted to ask you a question uh you're on the show uh things are going great by the way i loved you when you came into the show um you brought a spunk to it your smile was (laughs) incredible um maybe i was crushing back then i was 14 <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah hey. so i was 14 years old there definitely was an energy though to when Karen yes. came on the show yes. you know what um, i mean she was like this bubbly you know quite different from say trini kwan in that yes. sense that they were a different dynamic of characters for yeah sure. i loved it um you know the the bond that you had with your uh with your tv grandma in some of the episodes like all that you, you oh. there was lessons being taught that even as a 14 year old even though you didn't understand it if I, when you rewatch it now you see it there Right. So yes. um, it's pretty dope that uh, your character played such a great part, just like Steve and uh, Johnny as well. You know, you guys both came in, you all three of you came in with something. But let's move a little bit further into getting into the movie. Now, you got massive yes. success with the show. You're everywhere. You have your own action figures. Everything's going crazy. This movie gets thrown at you. What's going through your mind? Man, it was like, honestly, like I said, we won the golden ticket. Like, I, I mean, we got a television show and now we're in Australia shooting a movie. And, so, they, and they told us about it all in one sentence, too. They're like, oh, by the way, yeah. congratulations. You guys are the new Power Rangers. And by the way, we're in a month and a half after filming, we're going to go film the movie in Australia. And I'm like, what? I know. <laughs> it, was, it was insane. Like, it was it was honestly the dream. And, and, and it was like an adventure within an adventure because I'd never even left the United States before. So mm. going to Australia and actually being there, I think we were there like six months. Like it was a long time. And yeah, we, we were I there mean, for about four months. Yeah. Yeah. And it was it was one of those dreams that like, you know how you always dreamed of living abroad? Well, we yeah. did. We actually lived abroad and had our own little like apartment kind of hotel kind of thing. And um, I just remember we had so much fun. It was so much like long hours, hard work, but like the sets were bigger, the costumes were cooler. It was just, and it, it kind of was the time, like he said, it happened literally one month, like a month and a half after we'd come on the yeah. show. It was that one time that all of us as a cast had kind of been taken away from our natural element and we were in a foreign country and we really had the opportunity to kind of get to know each other. You know, yeah. I don't know that we really knew each other that well. And when you're stuck somewhere, you know, for months on end, you kind of, you know, luckily for us, we all just became friends and yeah. we all just started you know, figuring each other out. And, and I think that's really when we kind of like bonded, like everybody kind of bonded in their own way. And I always say I have a different friendship with each cast member. Yeah. But they, I, would, I would say they're all genuine, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and we did have to bond, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, you're right. And it was like, we, it was us by ourselves and we didn't, we didn't <laughs> know anyone else or have anyone else 
you know, yeah. um, you know, so, uh, we had to kind of like, kind of rely on each other a little bit. We're all walking into Everything this Everything is different in Australia. Like it, Every... it's, yeah, it's a modern country. Even the water different. swirls the other way, right? Remember that? Right. <laughs> when the drain. <laughs> Everything is different. They drive like on the wrong, like on the opposite On the end. right side. Like, the food tastes <laughs> different. Like we couldn't even get a normal peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like we were like, we protested one day and we're like, we just want peanut butter and jelly. And so they went out and, and the, the lady made it for us. And it was like peanut butter, jelly, and butter. And we were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I remember. <laughs> like, oh my God. Pie. That's we so funny. Sad. You remember that. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah. So, oh, I just, like that's little things. Yeah. That we were just like clinging to because we missed, I think we yeah. all missed kind of being home, but yeah, it was, I, it was yeah, honestly I, such a cool experience. Yeah, it really was. I, I, I always, I figure, I tell people this, like if you're going to a foreign country for the first time ever, you could do a lot worse than go to a country where they speak the same language at least. And a lot of things are still pretty familiar, but yeah, a lot yeah. of things were definitely odd. Um, but I, for one, tried to make the most of it. You know, I was like, oh, oh drink an oh. age of 18. Okay, Mr. that's a wrap. See you later. <laughs> I'm going. He I'm going to Mr. the Mr. Australia. Like we just, I he needed to like get a crown and like Steve was like partying all the time and I would be like I would be like I was such a square. I'd be like, oh, I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to the yeah. I was like, I don't care if I got a five a.m. five a.m. wake up call. I am gonna be out at the club tonight. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And there were times we had to bang on Steve's door because he did not hear Oh, these are the stories we want to hear, by the way. No, so, no, so, no. Yes, those no, are the no, no. bring on make Karen, it seem like I was him. Superman. I was making it there all the time, you know, what I mean? on time, all the time, no problem. All, all I will say is there's a, there's a story about a go go oh, boot. Go go. I don't know, oh. know about the go go boot. But oh, all I know man. is one day Steve was staying at the place that Johnny and I and, and Amy were staying at, and then the next <laughs> day he was kicked out <laughs> because of a go-go boot okay. and a hot tub. Uh, <laughs> I'll let yes. you guys fill in the blanks. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll tell the story. story. I'll tell the story. It's, Exclusively it's, here. It's Exclusive. Tw 25 years ago, so what the F, you know? Okay. So um, my cousin, um, like, because remember, it was like right before we were going to go on break. And as a, like one of our like Christmas presents, the, the movie invited us to bring a family member to to uh, to to Australia to come visit us for a week or so. Yeah. And um, so I invited my cousin Pete <laughs> and uh, my cousin Pete came to visit and um, man, we tore it up. We tore it up that week. We were going out. We were up. We were up they're in. Le the, they're legends. Yeah, we were up. We were out. We're legend. Legend, we were like, <laughs> we, we may as well have like a cane and the little and the little fur jacket. You know what I mean? Because we were walking through like we own the joint. So anyway, so we were out, we were out one night and, um, you know, we um, all of a sudden my cousin and I found ourselves in the company of a couple of lovely ladies and mm. we were uh -huh. talking to them and hanging out and, <laughs> you know, two things led to another one thing, you know, next thing, you know, we are like, we, we, are, we, we were, they were hanging out with us and, uh, we were all in the hot tub. Um, and it was just like Community the four hot tub, by the way, not a personal one, right? It was the a hot tub that was like you. for the whole entire, like building the whole complex that we were staying in. Right. And, but it was late at night. I mean, it was like really already pretty late at night. And, uh, it was like the four of us in the hot tub. And then we had basically like taken all of our clothes off, like all of our clothes were off and we're all hanging <laughs> out in the hot tub. You know, my cousin was on one side. I was on the other side. The girls were in the middle. We're all hanging out. We're talking. <laughs> and that was a fast. Lo and behold, um, lo and behold. So we had set our clothes. <laughs> we set our clothes down. We set our clothes down by the hot tub, and we're all hanging out. We're talking. We're having a good time. Blah blah blah. And all of a sudden, here comes Jason Narvi around the corner, walking up because he's walking. Through, you know, because it's through the complex. So he's walking through up through the complex, and he sees us and he greets us and he's like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking to us and we're chatting with him and you know and whatever, real casual. All of a sudden, and then he goes, "Well, I'll see you guys later." And he picks all of our clothes up, all <laughs> of them eyes all of them he took all of our fucking all of them. clothes the girls, and i was the guys, like the girls the guys he took all of them and them. bolted through the door Naked. so now we don't have our keys with us to get in so all he left <laughs> all he left was like one blouse and like a go-go oh, boot my. and like a go-go go -go boot <laughs> so so i basically like cover up with the go-go boot 
My cousin covers up with the blouse and the girls are basically just like this. And we had to like knock on the door to have the 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 the, the front desk guy let us <laughs> in and he was not amused like in the least. Like he was <laughs> super pissed that we were in the tub in the first place. Super pissed that we were rolling through the hotel naked with nothing but a go-go boot covering our junk. And uh yeah, and by the way, say, by the way like next thing we know. Steve, and next thing no you know, they I was asked to leave and so then they they they, they moved <laughs> me to another apartment. And actually that apartment was actually better, so I was what? fine with that. Yeah, oh, it was actually tight, man. So this just... thing was like this thing was like fully furnished with like couches and 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 and, and, and different suites and stuff. I was like, "Oh, this place is better." So, I, I, yeah. Yes. So, you know, whatever. So some things turn into a blessing, I guess. Steve, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to tell you right now. Applauses are being played right now for you. <laughs> Everyone, give me some applauses in the chat. So embarrassing. Put some applauses so in the chat, guys. This man. Oh my. Next time you see Steve, call him Mr. Australia. There's oh the my leg. God, Mr. Australia, man. Mr. I'll tell you Australia. What. Australia. I mean, what, what? I mean, what's life li worth living for if you're not gonna go make the most of it at every opportunity you get? 100%. And I was like. <laughs> One thing I realized, and I, you know, I just said, look, I know I'm, I'm never going to get this opportunity again like this, you know, to go to another country and live for four months and, and, you know, just have this amazing time. I said, yeah. I'm going to soak it up. I'm going to try to do yeah. everything I can, you know what I mean? Because I'm never going to get that opportunity again, you know? I agree. And I would, I, I would agree. imagine probably a few of you guys probably felt the same way after you left. You're like, oh man, I probably should have went out a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Like, I was like... <laughs> Why did I go out more? Like I was like I was too focused on making sure I woke up the next yeah. day and knew my lines and yeah and yeah go go you power know? boots well, it's, they're it's saying cool. on the chat. <laughs> Oh, the go-go power boots. Oh, boots. oh go -go. I hate you guys. I hate all of you. You're all blocked now. You're all blocked. <laughs> so no, well, whatever, man. It's life. It happens. I that mean, was, everybody's that was, got a story like that. That was great. Sort of. That was great. I mean, that Dude. made the night for us along with uh, Karen. That too. is just like you know. ridiculous, man. Narvi, dude. Thank you, Karen. Hey, man. Karen, thank you. Member. Karen, I know, thank I'm you sure for bringing you. that. Karen, I'm thank sure you for bringing you that out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so them on me too. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, right, man. We had, we did, we had a lot of fun doing that, that stuff, you know. And then, and then we came, and then it was like we were a little spoiled too, because we, you know, we're working on this big production and this big set and all these like fancy people waiting on us all the time. And oh, we yes. got to take a tea break. It's tea time now. We get all these breaks <laughs> in the day with tea time and stuff. And then we go back to the show where we're like. <laughs> Plumbing. Get back Plumbing. to work. <laughs> back to work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was like, it was pretty brutal, man. We're like, oh, brutal. man, we just got regular old crackers. <laughs> we want to go back to Australia. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. Karen, that was so, amazing. I'm glad that you brought that up because, you know, um, I mean, you brought life to the show in one way and now you're bringing, you know, back then and now you're bringing life here to, to this show. I mean, you're taking over. Uh, might as well call I it the Fantastic Karen Show. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very funny story, so I knew he wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's it's fine. It is what it is. I so mean, Karen, it's not like I'm I'm ashamed about it. I'm a little embarrassed about it, but I'm not like ashamed <laughs> or whatever. You know, like, there's a lot worse things. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, they want to know if you ever got Narvi back. Yeah. Um. He, he, well, no, I don't think I ever no. got him. I never got him back. But I remember one time we were all in the in one in our in the hotel room one time, and we were all goofing around. And uh, I accidentally like punched Narvi in the eye and blacked oh. up his eye. I gave him a huge <laughs> black eye. And I promise it wasn't intentional. It was an accident, you know. And I felt horrible because he was like, "Oh God!" <laughs> he he like, went Damn. down. We're like, "Oh, you know." I mean, but, dude, think about it. We're all we're all twenty year old kids in a hotel by ourselves with free reign to do whatever the hell we want. And we're just drinking right. our faces off yeah, and DM, having a blast. Yeah, you know what I mean? Pocket. It's like. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. And so I'm just like, like I said, we, t we took full advantage of it. Uh, but yeah, Narvi, man, he got me good on that one. <laughs> That's great. That was, I mean, yeah, that was a, I think he just won. <laughs> yeah, that was he, great. He won. He won. That was amazing. Um, so, so yeah, so, let, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> no, no. I was just going to ask, um, Karen, you also saved the world in the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie 25 years ago. You pressed the uh, emergency button in the Megazord <laughs> uh, back then. I used to credit for that like we need Jeez, an Aisha shit. day for doing that <laughs> did 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 they ever use that line from um from the original script where they said balls eye no no i said it when i went and did the the um 
video ADR clip. session. Yeah. Oh, did you? Okay, so it is yeah, in the movie they then. Never used it. Oh, yeah. they never no, used it. No, they never it. used oh, it. No, dude, because yeah. remember they nailed him right in the balls, and then she goes balls eye, and I was like, that's a great <laughs> line. I can't believe they cut it out. You know, they were I so scared, scared about it being too p too more than too more than PG. There was a lot of like um adult like uh things being said but not in a way where it was um disgusting or anything like that it was just it was yeah. just adult humor that we were able to get but um but now that you watch it again it's there and it's just it's funny <laughs> to know because <laughs> you we i was we have that original script we should like oh my redo, god like, are you ADR. serious do you do. really have the original I've script i've got literally shut like, up this is what's crazy hold up i'm gonna tell you this something so crazy my old, my friend, he used to be my manager, good friend of mine. He kept telling me, I have this box of your stuff. I have this box of your stuff. I'm going to send it to you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He sends me this box. And like, it literally sits in my living room for like a month. I don't even open it. Oh I finally open it. See, it had like the original script from our first episode. No way. Really? Years. And I wrote my little notes in it where I'm like, be happy or act surprised. Uh, and that, it was like all this stuff. And then I had, remember they gave us the scripts and it was like in a blue binder. Yes. I had that original blue binder. I, I had like four or five different movie scripts. I mean, it was like, I was like, what the heck is this? I had my That is phenomenal. Okay, you need Karen. to release the Karen, the Karen cut. <laughs> you know how they got yeah. the Snyder cut? We need the Karen cut. Let's <laughs> Oh so like my god. Ticket to the premiere of when we had, like, they sent us a ticket. Yes. I have that letter from Saban when we did the Wild Wild, epi Wild, Wild West episode. And he was like, oh, you yes. guys did a great job. He never co talked to us. And he wrote us a letter after that episode and was like, I really enjoyed it. You did a great job. So I've got all this stuff. Oh my god, day, Karen, like, that's amazing. See, yeah. I'm, I this, this, so this is it. the kind of stuff where I kick myself a little bit because I didn't have the foresight and I should have, you know, I, I, I just, didn't either. My friend did. Yeah. Wow. Well, God, man, lucky, man. That, I, yeah. I would love, I would love to get a sneak peek at that. I'm actually, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I, I'm coming out to LA actually. Well, it's going to be more like Orange County actually, to be honest, but whatever. Maybe we can Don't find worry. a minute Next to say hi to each other. other. Next time we see each other. Yeah. So okay. It. Okay. Wow. Yes, that would be amazing. Thank wow. you, Karen. That what a what a what a great gift that would be. I would that. love like, to I have that. Like that's something everybody needs in their collection. Oh Actually, man, and I, I, and that first script was so wow. different than the so than the way the movie came out. Like the yeah. the, the storyline was completely different, and we ended up reshooting the whole movie as a result. But yeah. that whole original yeah. script was very very we odd. Were fighting, it was very like, different. Rats. We weren't fighting like the ooze mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, it was well. totally different how we got our powers and. We actually yeah. had a lot more funny lines. Like the characters all each had like a moment to be kind of comical and funny and no you know, visors. I think when you make a film, it just kind of, you know, everything just got, we got some good stuff, but like a lot of really good stuff got, you know, just taken out at some point. And this so. is why it's a 25th year anniversary show right now here yes. on the fantastic <laughs> duo show yeah. with Karen Ashley. Because Dude, how Karen, how dope would it be if they, if, if somehow 20th century Fox Released all the footage of uh, like the old Dulcia and with you know they with should. Mariska Hargitay and the whole yeah. storyline with all the training montage that we did and all that stuff like that that I just got completely cut out of the movie. That I man, that would have been dope. Yeah, I honestly thought when they did the Blu-ray that they would do that. Like they would they at should've. least like give the fans because the fans know that at one point yeah. she was Dulcia. Yes, and yeah. they, yes. I mean, I thought they would have at least like they have footage of us, like all the different takes we were doing. They've got footage of us rehearsing. They've got stuff that we will never see. And mm -hmm. I thought when we got the Blu-ray that we would have gotten some of that. But, you know, I think wow. it's just normal stuff. Maybe yeah, it might be should. lost to the 20th no century, 20th it. century vaults forever. You know what I mean? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. No, no. Because Fox Studios got sold to Disney. So right, Disney, which makes so, it even more worse so that Disney, that would never be found. Disney <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Power Rangers stuff. When Power yes. Rangers got sold to Disney, D Disney boxed up a bunch of stuff care. and threw them in some warehouses in Burbank, and they're gone forever. Nobody knows where they are. When wow. Saban got it back, D Disney doesn't remember because the people that worked there ten years before don't 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 know where all that stuff was stored. Yeah. There's, if if maybe there one day there'll be a storage wars, guys, where the, somebody comes on and opens up the door where they find all this Power Ranger stuff yeah. that was lost forever. Yeah. It's out there, right? I'm going Karen? to Cali. There. That's all I got to say. And people will come with weird things, and I'm like, where did you get this? And they're like, mm -hmm. oh, a friend of mine. So I know someone knows where it is or someone's yeah. got it but yeah like he said so much stuff was lost and it's like yeah. at that point people used to always go oh that kid show that kid show i don't think anyone thought 25 years later that it would still be so 
popular and so oh, it, it 100% is incredible and yeah what we would do for anything in that storage bin like <laughs> Totally right. I mean, I, did you steal your costume? Did you steal your uh, costume from the movie or anything? No, uh -uh, I, didn't no I didn't either. I didn't get. I didn't get none of that stuff. You know, uh, I, I sadly, it is what it is. But no, I didn't. Yeah. I, I know they have. I know they have some of our movie movie suits over there at uh, you know in uh, Hollywood um, Planet you know, Hollywood. Studio. So David David Yo said yeah. that a lot of it was um, because a couple of Planet Hollywoods were closing. They were being moved around the country. Some are actually in Florida right now. Yeah, they're in Florida yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. that's where yeah. they are. Got mine. I want it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so let's let's shift just a little bit, Karen, because um, man, it's it's already like it, we've already been on for a, a forty minutes already. It's so I great. <laughs> um, I wanted I wanted to because I know all the fans have been asking and they've been wanting to know. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us like the you know kind of what's happening with the order? I know we were all set yeah. to do it, and then some things happened that were beyond our control, and then it got yeah. put on hold for a little bit, and then it just sort of like you know kind of like fizzled out. But the thing is that you were um you know vigilant you never stopped like pushing <laughs> toward getting this thing made in some form or fashion yeah, and uh yeah. even to the point where you turned it into a, a, a book series as well um yes. and and things like that so maybe could you because the fans do want to know mm -hmm. what's going Absolutely. on with the order and girl when are we gonna get to shoot some stuff when you're gonna bring your boy in <laughs> and holler me back what was what was my character's name dax oh when uh, dax is in yes. dax yeah so if you guys want to yes. see me different You've seen me as Dax. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It's it's still in the works. Like the crazy thing is that I've I've been able to partner up with some really, really cool people who are connected, but connected in the television industry, which is even a cooler prospect. And so it was it was presented to me last year that Better why don't opportunity we do for have... longer work too, you know what I yeah. mean? That's good, and yeah. Exactly. It was presented to me like they were like, Why are we trying to do a just one off film? Why don't you try to get this as, as a, series? a series? Like I really think this has the potential to be a series. There's so many characters, there's so many people that can come in and out, so many people who can guest star. Because I just gave them my pitch. Like obviously people know Power Rangers are in this, but we know so many actors in right. the Comic Con circuit. And I had so many other actors that were signing on to be in the film. That we were like, when they said that to me, I was like, I, I think that's a great idea. I've always thought it could be, you know, have the potential to be on Netflix, Hulu, or any place like that. And so what I had to do at that point was I had to go back and we had to reformat everything so that it would be a TV series. style. Yeah. And, you know, when you do that, you got to like, I, I wrote the, you know, the show Bible and it's like, you literally got to lay it all out. Every character, the right. entire season. The first 10 episodes, I don't have to write all those episodes, but you do have to kind of, when you present it to these networks, you have to tell them, this is what season one is going to do. Yeah. Right. So we did right. all that, and we even did like a couple of different things to just recut the trailer and just make it more character forward. Because um, people know we have the action. Obviously, you know, Power Rangers are going to be in it, but we wanted it to be more story driven. Um, and then COVID hit. And right. like everything kind of just paused and the whole, you know, wah, wah, started, wah. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but luckily, you know, things are opening back up slowly, but surely um, we're just kind of waiting to see. Um, and we've got, you know, some really good meetings and we got some really good people. Yeah. We got some really good people who are, who are helping me rep the project. So it's just a matter of, you know, like, like what happened with us 25 years ago, getting in front of the right people. Cause I, yeah. I kept, it's frustrating when you're kind of going and going and going. But what I've really like, uh, my husband told me, he goes, you just need one person. To That's get. it. One. Yeah. You know? yeah. And all these fans have, have gotten it. And as long as we get that one person who gets it and, and gives us the opportunity to even just, even if we got the opportunity to shoot a pilot, I think yeah. they would be like, Whoa, this is really cool. Because when I tell them it's, you know, a show and we're assassins and we're vigilantes and we're this secret organization that shadows the FBI and the CIA. They're kind of like, okay. And I'm like, and we're power Rangers. We already have a fan base. Yeah. We already got mm -hmm. people who love the show. I mean, we are on a, a, a world tour every year at every comic con. We're every, in front of hundreds yeah. of thousands of people every weekend. We could promote this thing to no end. And they're like, Whoa. Okay. So Damn. I think we're very close at some, some great things happening. Wow. But that's phenomenal. People, Stay patient. Like I have not given up on this project. And, and I told them, I said, even if we shoot it and it comes out on Facebook, then we'll just shoot it. So, but I want to <laughs> at least try to get it to where we can, where it should be. Like, I think if we have the opportunity to do an eight, eight, you know, an eight episode or 10 episode season, 
it would be phenomenal. Let's I mean, put the whole thing on TikTok, girl. Yes. TikTok, TikTok. We can do it all on TikTok. <laughs> do, it on TikTok. do dances. Like Alex could like be the technical coordinator of it all. We've got That's it. it. I'm it's... telling you guys, if I come back to you in like six months and go, guys, we just got to do it on TikTok. Mm. We're gonna... I'm, I'm serious. So Karen, <laughs> that's what, that's what I think. I think yeah, the ahead. reason the fans are kind of stuck with us is because they know I've told them we're going to get it done. It's yeah. just, let us try to get it done on the level that let's try to go for it all. And if we end up doing it and just giving it to you, then great. But either way, let us try to get it. You know, but yeah. that's it would so, be right. It would be good if we could have it at the the high production quality that it needs yes. to be at for all the special effects and all the other cool yeah. stuff that we want to do and all the big stunts and everything. So, you know, if we try to slap it together and shoot it, you know, like it won't be, it won't be, it. Won't be I mean, as, we, did it we with could that do three it. Day shoot, yeah. Well, but for sure, that was but... like a lot of favors, a lot of like, please come. You guys yeah. came, everybody came for free. Yeah. We just mm -hmm. all went out there and had fun. But I think if we really did it, like you said, if we did it the right way, we at least got to go for that. So that takes time. And I, I, COVID has been the bane of my existence, but we're going <laughs> to <forward. laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's like, I don't know, like, you know, they say like, you know, you know, success isn't final and, and, and failure isn't fatal, you know? Right. I mean, it was yeah. like, you know, we already thought we had it, you know, we were in, yes. we were about ready to shoot. And the next thing you know, oh, the we... rug was pulled out from under us, but yeah. you know, failure isn't final. Cause you've been endeav endeavoring and enduring to, to yeah. make this thing happen. Uh, you know, and it's been, it's been years now, you know, and that's like, and when it finally does hit, it's going to be a, an amazing success yeah. story because you and know, what I will people say understand how hard are able, you work to yeah, make it happen. Yeah, we are able to do it at this level. Can you imagine like, it was almost a blessing in disguise. <clears throat> that it didn't happen, you know, and, right. and here we are. So. Right. Cause you have more time to think about where you want to take it and how you want to do it. like the whole series part of it. That's, um, you know, the middleman is kind of cut out now cause you don't have to go search for a, a studio. Um, the great thing exactly. about with technology and everything today. So, um, as Steve mentioned before, I've done, I do a little bit of, I've, I've been on real houses of New Jersey. I've worked on Bra with Bravo and stuff like that. So, um, I've done a couple features for Netflix as well. And I directed small little baby films, nothing like you guys, just crap. Yeah. Um, but um, but basically, yeah, like I think the longevity of it and I think the fact that you have the fandom behind it, it'll yeah. last longer if you take it that route. Right. So you have um, every single from Netflix to to Amazon. You can always release it. There's yeah. no there's exactly. there's nothing holding you back exactly. from doing that. Right. Yeah. 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 We could shoot it ourselves and put it out ourselves and you can And if you need someone to sweep the floors, I'm right here, girl. I am right. I will <laughs> just I, be there. Just let me know. Easy I will official sweep the floor. I will officially <laughs> sweep the floor. Make sure everyone has a safe space to walk through. You know yeah, what? Right. I think we could find something more for you to do other than that. But what I will say is it was it was kind of an eye opening experience for me to think about it because I was trying to squeeze all these amazing actors because yeah. the thing is is people you know they know us only one dimensionally they know us as power rangers but every single person i know who's been on that show is so talented far beyond power rangers so for me i would love it if we we're able to do a television show that's you know more modern more edgy more yeah. up -to -date. And we yeah. have time for everybody to shine, like squeezing right. everybody into one and, movie. And, and exactly, and not necessarily in like the Power Ranger like threat, you know what I mean? Like we yeah. get to be like evil and we get to be, you know, yes. different people than die. what people are used to seeing us, you know what I mean? I, so think, I think you build yeah. you build your own universe and you build that yeah. and you go and you go forward with it, right? So like you said, like a book, comic book, it's all there. Like today's world is not 25 years ago. You know, yeah. you needed Fox uh, movies to do what you did with Power Rangers. Now, exactly. got five guys get together or five girls and they film something incredible, put it up on YouTube. It has millions of views. The middleman exactly. has been cut out. Yeah. And you got, yeah. Yeah. And with Steve and, and you and everyone else that I saw in the in the trailer, uh, if you guys don't know, make sure you go check out the order. It's it's. It's jam packed. It was jam packed, yeah. and it was shot yeah. great. It certainly wasn't. Was it was an all no, Ranger cast. Rehearsal time, like we were like, okay, this it's gonna be Power Ranger style. Get over there, learn your fight, and everybody showed up, and they just were amazing. So yeah. I know that. It yeah, I know. There's, I have, I have footage of me and Jason Font in a fight scene together, and I've got ah! some other. Uh, I have other footage. I would love to see that. I, I, I will find it, and I'll show, I'll send it to you. And I have other footage of me and Azim Risk uh, going battle head to head as well too. 
Uh, I love where, it. Yeah, he's throwing, he's coming at me with a samurai sword and a whole bit, man. It's pretty, that's it's amazing. pretty effing sweet. Not gonna lie. It was, and the crazy part is we didn't even know, like we didn't. I, I knew Jason Font, like we know each other from cons, but we'd never worked together on stream. Right. We'd never worked with a zine. We never work. I'd never, you know, all these people, like we never all work together. And, and literally, I'm telling you, the minute we met, we always would talk about it. We've been talking about this like working together and doing a project together for probably like 10 plus years. Like I have an email that I had with Amy and I was like, we need to do a project together and it doesn't need to be Power Rangers. I think we need right. to stop waiting for them to call us. We need to do our own thing. And so I was just so happy that we were able to take it yeah. a step further and actually do that. And now like everyone's kind of doing different projects, you know, together. And I, I love it. I think it's great. I think there's room for all of it. Well, you got, um, and you also and, got the people here, like the, the people in the chat, like they, they love it by the way. They, they're, they still love you. They're still talking about you here like crazy, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, they are. They, 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 for it. Uh, yeah. uh, Mr. Uh, Smith 2020 here. I can't say his first name because I'm Javon. I think it says that you're awesome. So I just want to get that uh, across to you. But I Aww. think that the fact that you also could put this up like you had before on a crowdsource, you know, uh, foundation mm -hmm. on a website, and you have this this here, this the, our show basically yeah. is is for you too. You know what I'm saying? This is your show. You want to come on here, promote it, and get yeah. people you know, uh, behind yeah. it. I mean, it's, it's work. It's for Steve. It's for yourself. It's for, um, yeah. uh, the extras, it's, it's, anybody it's else, really cool. the people sweeping I, the floor. I, I honestly believe, yeah, I honestly believe in the power of the power Ranger fandom. Like that's one thing that our fans come together and they support wholeheartedly. Right. And all they want to see is us all together. And yeah. it, it's always crazy to me because we'll have these reunion shows and they're great. But I wish they would like take it a step further and really have the cast or the cast members that come in really be a part of the storyline and really like help the new team find yes. their way and yeah. you know, take a, you know, cause it's one of those things, like even our show, we were very lucky because we had, you know, it came on every day. So there are hundreds of Mighty Morphin episodes. Right. Um, but it was, it was one of those things where our team would always have a time where we would struggle to figure out who we were as individuals, how we fit into the group, how we, you know, yeah. struggled and how we were going to save the world. And I wish that they would really go back to that storytelling. And if they bring people back, bring them back and let them help that team right. turn that yeah. corner. Or maybe they fight that team. I don't know. Maybe they come right. back as like. Yeah, I mean, it's like a lot of times when they out. when they do these, you know, reunion episodes, you know, we're, we're essentially like one. glorified extras. You know what I mean? You know, and it's cool because, you know, we, we want to focus on on the team that's that's happening there. But, you know, we're talking about one episode, you know what I mean? So one episode where, you know, you, you bring the, the loyal fans who still keep watching that remember from 20 years ago, they want to see us interact, yeah. interact, you know what I mean? Like we yeah. get one or, one or two lines and it's like, you know, I mean, you know, anybody could have said and that. And the crazy <clears throat> thing, are those are the highest rated episodes for that season. So if you think about that, it takes like other people from other seasons to come back to boost the ratings. Yeah. Then why don't you really make them a part of the story? Like, yeah. why don't you really integrate them into this? Yeah, the they should make it like a three parters want. all the time. It should always be yeah. three parter. Yeah. You know, yeah. All the time. Yeah. It should be a three parter all the time. And like, you know. But yeah. I ask, who knows if they'll listen so, to us? And, and with old and habits with, are hard. Old habits are hard to break. And with a couple I have, of, I have an idea for them. So if they ever came to me, I could give them a script nice. that I think would. Ooh, that's them. amazing. Like, it would. Yeah. It brings in other cast members. It highlights the cast. Like at the end of the day, the cast is is the one that gets all the attention. But those other people come at, come in as a truly a supporting cast that changes the direction of that team and helps them become a right. better team. Yeah. So, call me. <laughs> so 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 with a with a couple I'm minutes not, I'm not cheap either but call me. <laughs> with, right, with, right. with a couple minutes left I wanted You're to in the episode by the way. Oh word. Okay, yes, thank you. I appreciate that. I got you. I, got you. I, I wanted I wanted to bring this up to you um cuz somebody mentioned on the chat so boom obviously is rating uh you guys as the Stone Canyon crew into the comics and it's so amazing that people now you know 26 years later are learning your story all over again. There's nobody else who's played these characters, right? So even in the comic books, yes. when they're writing them and drawing them in their way, uh, it is still you three. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's amazing to me that 26 years later, you're still being introduced to a whole new generation. And 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 it, the story is beautiful because they're taking their time telling each of you guys who you are as opposed to, it was a little bit rushed in the, in the show, you know? So yeah. um, <laughs> I, how do you, really quickly, any words on like how you feel about now? Like you open up a comic book and there you are, you know? 26 I years later. It. 
Yeah. Yeah. I love what, you know, Hal Higgins and Brian, I love what they've been doing. Like, Home Studios is insane. I keep, I, I've said it so many times. I've said it to so many people who work at the time for Hasbro and work for Saban. I was like, these guys should be writing the series. Like these guys are writing these pivotal stories yeah. and it's beautiful to read in a comic book. But can you imagine if it was a television show and all of them are television writers, like they all yeah. have movies and stuff. They all have that background for sure. Yeah. So exactly. yeah. And I just love what they're doing because they're taking the time. Like it's, it's almost like it goes back to what made Power Rangers great. Yeah. We love the Zords and we love the fights and we love the costumes. Yeah. But what made it really come to life were those relationships. Yes. And those teenagers, every single kid. Yeah, had that's what the kids that relate like to. Them. Yeah. Yeah. And them we were kids. Friends. We were yeah. friends. And, and, and this is the thing there's no other time that we should be writing stories about people being friends and people overcoming yes. obstacles and challenges in life. Like, we're all so challenged right now as a society. Power Rangers has a perfect opportunity because they've always been a, a, a multicultural show. Always. They've always right. been ahead of the always. curve. It's always been that way. They've you always know? been yeah. ahead of the curve. And it wasn't something like, you know, like gratuitous, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? A gimmicky. Yeah, exactly. You it know? wasn't pushed it on was, you. It was right. natural. No. It was natural. Yeah. Like no. the, when the teams came together, it was oh, different backgrounds, different nationalities, everything, yeah. everything about yeah. it just brought people together. And they never questioned those friendships because those those characters were written so that they were written so genuinely that we genuinely believed that they were all friends. Mm -hmm. You're friends with the smart guy, you're friends with the jock, you're friends with the guy who's really good at karate, you're friends with the sassy girl. Yeah. Like everybody just met at the juice bar and had this great yeah. time. So yeah, it showed really, it showed acceptance, you know what I mean? Like you yes. know, we had to have and the I, acceptance and tolerance of everybody, you know? Exactly. And I think that's why the comic book has just taken off. Because it's got it's got that it's got those great stories and it's yeah. thank you Boom adventure. Studios <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah I mean my hat I my hat goes off to them every time I see them they're just they're doing such an amazing show and and they even wrote like you know writing you know uh, Trini and Zach and, and 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 Jason writing them off they wrote it better you know yeah. it yeah. wasn't mm -hmm. it was actually a really cool even more interesting way for them to have left the series yeah. so I just think that that's why it's so great to read and it's so interesting because they've really, you know, they've got really good, they've got, and then, you know, it's funny, another thing, they make it edgy, but it's still child or child appropriate. Right. You right, can right, be edgy. Right. Like you watch Marvel, you watch Captain America, you watch right. Black Panther. Those show, those movies are edgy. They do things yeah. in there that aren't just kid friendly. They but it's not, it's not Sin like City though. You know what I mean? It's oh, not Sin right. City gory. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. Yeah, right. Exactly. It still yeah. gives you everything you want. <laughs> Karen, right. this is this has been amazing. We want to thank. I know. You yeah, know. It, I can't believe oh it's already God. been an hour. It went I so know. fast. I know. <laughs> are you? Are we, you? Oh, we literally could talk for like two and a half more hours easily yeah. about all kinds you, of stuff. Are you open to doing a part two anytime later on in the future with Steve? Absolutely. Because these stories I between you two. For Steve. Yes, Steve, I love you. Thank Steve you. He looked at me and said, "It's our job to lose." <laughs> and he was right we were bonded in that moment <laughs> right 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 and much like much like sisters and brothers sometimes fight you know sometimes we didn't Absolutely. always get along and we you know but but there was never like a there was never not the mutual respect and love and, yes. and, 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 you know, and it was all about the work too. And, 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 and we didn't see each other for a long time after the show. Um, but it wasn't because we didn't have, you know, we didn't have love for each other, but it was like, yeah, we moved on, everybody moved yeah. on. And, and it wasn't because it was thanks to the fans and the demand of like conventions and stuff, bringing us back that we all got to reconnect again. And yeah. my life has been so, so, so enriched, so much more enriched as yeah. a result of being reconnected with all you guys again so yeah. uh you know from the bottom of my heart we i really thank you like we literally got like a couple of minutes left um can you tell everybody where they can follow you and um yes. maybe just briefly anything else you want to say <laughs> yeah yeah no no um you can follow me at karen ashley on instagram that's probably the best place i'm okay. at official karen ashley on facebook but i'm always on instagram i have a new comic con ranger stop and pop it's in atlanta georgia yes it's, mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be march 5th through the 7th 2021 um we've got a great cast of rangers coming out um steve was at our show last <laughs> yeah. year he's like that's amazing we yeah. can't wait to do it again 
and I love you guys. And, and yes. I'll come back anytime. All right. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Fantastic. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna take it out. I mean, like, was we're obviously like a like minute left. So uh, we're gonna take it out. Let's do it again. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you to all the the Thank Twitch you. fans and the Twitch verse for watching with watching this and joining in with the conversation and everything like that. And uh, on behalf of uh, our my co-host Alex, uh, we wish you guys uh, all the best. And uh, you know, may the power protect you and stay safe out there, guys. Thank you so much.